Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia Armendariz and today I'm gonna to be talking about Banning Lewis Ranch. This community has been around since 2015 and has a lot of attraction and just a lot of people moving out there right now. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that community today. But first, if you have any questions over anything that I do mention in this video, please feel free to reach out to me. I am a licensed broker here in the state of Colorado and love to help you with any real estate needs. And also if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to get notified when I make new videos each week so that people like you can find information like this. So without further ado, let's get into it. So to begin, Banning Lewis Ranch, like I said, has been around since 2015. The area itself, uh, Banning Lewis Ranch, used to be a cattle ranch. It was 30,000 acres of a cattle ranch, but it has been sold since, and starting around 2015, they started doing massive new builds. They really wanted this community to focus around a community sense of everybody kind of know everybody, that could be good or bad but it is a booming and beautiful master planned community. This community is on the uh, northeast side of town. This is gonna be off of Powers, which is one of our main drags here in town, and Mark Sheffield. Uh, you are going to shoot east. This is gonna be on the east side of town. So like I said, it used to be cattle ranch, so it is very flat, but because you are that far east, you do have great views of the mountains, the whole mountain range, Pikes Peak, uh, Spanish Peaks and what have you. So there's a perk there. Banning Lewis Ranch, like I said, is a massive community. They have three builders out there at the moment. So you have several floor plans and models to choose from, different upgrades, different finishes. Uh, you can be buying something, <laughs> already existing home. Um, but I do feel like some of those builders have just some really beautiful floor plans and uh, models that you could go look at. One cool thing about this neighborhood is that they do have what they call the retreat. The retreat is part of the neighborhood that focuses on uh, 55 and plus active seniors. So a lot of those floor plans are going to be ranch style, no stairs to very minimal stairs, um, just a lot of accessibility. And each community, including the retreat, the 55 plus, uh, has their own clubhouse. There is one master clubhouse on the community. It's called North Tree Ranch, I believe. And everyone can gather there. They have uh, exercise classes, they have yoga classes, they have a basketball court, pickle court, several things for the community to get together. But then depending on which builder and which kind of like little subdivision you live in, including that senior area, you have your own private uh, smaller clubhouses that have a smaller mass or smaller pool and little facilities like that. The community also has something called Vista Water Park, which is a pretty large water park with water slides, water guns, just, you know, the whole <laughs> water experience uh, right there for the entire community to enjoy. And that is open the majority of the summer. That opens around Memorial Day weekend and closes a Labor Day weekend. So I imagine since we have some pretty hot days here in Colorado Springs, that water park is getting utilized pretty often. The home builders, like I said, there are three different builders out there and they have a variety of floor plans and models. Most of the community you're going to find is going to range between 300,000 to 500,000 on average. And that's if you do choose to build and you have minimal, you know, upgrades and finishes. But right now we're looking at an average home sale price in the neighborhood of $560,000. That senior area, those start around 200, the mid 200 thousands, and the neighborhood itself can just go all the way up to 900,000. I think right now that's kind of the highest we're seeing. And that is one of those more bigger custom homes that are six bed, four bath, four car garage, uh, the majority of the neighborhood is not that big, but like I said, the neighborhood can range up to 900 right now, but we are looking right around 560,000 on average. Banning Lewis Ranch is growing at such a rapid rate. It does currently have two schools out there. 
The community itself kind of sits in District Falcon 49. That's going to be the majority of the schools that you will enroll your kids in, but it does have uh, a preparatory and then also an academy. Uh, they're just called Banning Lewis Ranch Preparatory and Academy. Uh, but those are definitely something to look into. The one thing that I really like about this community is its sense of like community. They do a lot of cool things like they have summer uh, concert series that go on. They have local farmer market that come out. They have food trucks that come out to the community itself. Like I said, they have that water park. They have parks just throughout the community, big open splay space, playgrounds, and trails. There's over 65 miles of trails that kind of weave in between the community itself and then just out east. <laughs> so um, definitely something to look into. Like I said, they have just that sense of community. They want to keep that. If you don't live in Banning Lewis Ranch, you are more than welcome to attend some of those events, but I feel like they do want to keep that community sense of everyone knows everybody, kind of if that's the case, keeps everyone a little bit safer. I think that's the idea behind that. But um, otherwise, it is a great location. Me and myself, I'm not a fan of the east side, but you are centrally located to so much shopping. Uh, if you do shoot west on Powers, you're going to find so much restaurants, like I said, shopping, gyms. Uh, there is a major hospital nearby, so that's something. That's a plus. Uh, just the Powers Corridor has more, more than you could ever imagine of shopping restaurants and what have you. And you could shoot down Powers or you could shoot down Mark Sheffield. That is the other main drag nearby. And Mark Sheffield will take you anywhere also along that shopping corridor or also to some nearby military bases. Uh, Peterson Air Force Base and Shriver Air Force Base are right down Mark Sheffield. So if you need to get to the base for any reason, quick shot there. You also have that quick shot to shopping. So if you are looking to buy here in Carl Springs, I would definitely check out Banning Lewis Ranch. It has a lot of amenities, a whole kind of mini city feel to itself. So definitely an option if that's something that you're looking for. But I would say that's kind of the gist. If you guys have any more questions about that community itself or any other homes and communities here in Colorado Springs, again, please feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you with your real estate needs. And again, please hit that bell and subscribe button. And until next time, I hope you guys have a good one.